What's up guys, welcome back to another E36 drift build project. Today we're going to be finally installing these bad boys. Been wanting to install these for a while, but it's not as easy as it sounds, because basically I don't have subframes for these, because they're like £180. So I'm going to be making my own. I have bought this, which is some Sparco sliders. I'm only going to be having the sliders on the driver's side. The passenger side, I'm just going to leave mounted, it doesn't really matter. I have picked up some box steel. This is 30 by 30 by 2.5 mil wall. Just need to measure it all up and then start cutting it. I've also got some just thin bar. I think this, I'm going to use this to make the brackets to mount the seat belts. This is the old seat, it weighs an absolute ton, but I'm gonna use it to make the mounts be much easier that way than marking it in the car. I've also got some new wheels, but you're gonna have to wait for one of the next videos to see them. I've got the hydro, and I've also got coilovers have arrived. I've got angle kit, short shifter. I've got so many parts still to install on this, but today we're gonna do the seats. That's the main thing that I've been wanting to get done. I've been putting it off for a while now because it's just raining every day and it is raining today as well, but I can't wait any longer, so I'm just gonna do it. We've also got some Sparco harnesses. These are just some second hand ones I picked up like a year ago. They'll do. So yeah, this first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna go into the car and get some measurements. All right, so I'm in the car. As you can see, it's absolutely pouring it down. So I've got the driver's seat out now. Excuse the mess, there's still glass everywhere from when the window was smashed. Yeah, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna draw, mark out sort of roughly what I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna take some measurements. I'm gonna make everything a bit bigger than it needs to be at first, and then once it's done, then I'll cut it all down to as small as it can go. Better have too much steel than not enough. <laughs> I'm gonna do it as basic as possible. Do two lines like this, and then the seat will be mounted on some sideways ones like like so. I think 50 is probably a good length. Yeah, I think we're going to go with 50. Yeah, let's, let's just do that to 50 because then I've got length of 2 meters so I can always chop it down a bit. Let's do that side 50. And now width wise. Oh, look at that. 50 mil. This is looking too, too good to be fair. Yeah, let's do 50. 50, perfect. 50 and 50. So I got this cut into two meter lengths, so pretty handy, I'll just chop them in off. Still raining, stop raining. I need to do some chopping. Safety first. All right, so I've done two chops. I, I won't film the others, but I'll chop them up now. Right, so I've chopped all of these now. They're all 50 centimeters long. So now I'm going to mark them up on the chair and drill the holes where they're gonna go to the chassis first. So what I've done, I've marked front left. I've marked roughly where the bolts need to go. And now I just need to work out exactly by using these holes. Roughly marked up. All right, so we've got the first hole marked there. And the second one I've marked I've marked either side, so I just need to work out the center spot. Right, so I'm gonna go through with the smaller one and then slowly work my way up in sizes up until, I think I'm gonna do M8. Cutting these holes is taking forever because I haven't got a pillar drill, so I'm just using two normal drills, different sizes. This steel is quite thick, 2.5 mil, so whew, it's taking forever. much needed that is the good stuff so i'm just in the car just mocking it up just so that i can then find out where i need to drill it in and then i'll have to tack it into place see i haven't got it bolted in yet i've just got i've just screwed this in um, i'm just marking where the rails are so then i can bolt this to this it's a bit annoying because on these you're like sat off center all the time so i've marked roughly where they need to go also on these i'm gonna have to cut the end off or do something all we need to do now is tack weld them into place and then i'll just cut off the the leftover bit and then that side's done just have to paint it but before i tack that with that one i'm gonna do the passenger side because then i can might be able to just re-mark these holes i'll check their fit but i don't know if they're going to be the same size but another day of fun we've also got ross coming over in a bit so hopefully he can help out this this is taking a lot longer than i thought to be fair i thought this would take a few hours but it's taken quite a while now. Who showed up? Mr. Sender himself. We're here. 
Another Sunday. <laughs> Stinks of damp in here still, so fit this freshie. Yeah. Smells banging now. Let's get the passenger seat out then. All right, so we tried these in the passenger seat, and actually they're the same as the driver's seat. So now gotta cut these up. Is fun again? <laughs> it's definitely not fun cutting this. <laughs> right, so we've just chopped the ends off on the front. Out, that's hot. <laughs> so that we can get the nut in, because on the car it has a stud on the front and then a bolt on the rear. So we have to cut that out. So we've got the passenger one done now. We've got the seat rails there, and then these on there. So what we've done, we've put an Allen key, one of these through. We drilled this hole a bit bigger so the head goes through and then the bottom one to that size. See so sturdy, just needs tacking on now. Got all the seats and the rails all in place where I want them roughly. I'm gonna tack them all up where they need to be and then take them off and then weld them up properly. Yeah, they're looking good. Getting there, getting it all tacked in now. Jesus. <laughs> Every time you focus one goes. We may have caught the seat like a little bit <laughs> while welding, but that's all right. No one's going to see that anyway. Turned out pretty good. Just need to weld it all up properly now. It's still just tacked. Sand it down and paint it. Jobs are good. We got these all finished up. As you can see, they're all fully welded. They are solid. They are not going anywhere. Now, all I'm going to do, I'm going to clean them up quick and then we're going to paint them. I'm actually going to be turning the back of my car, well, my daily car, into a paint booth because I can't paint in here and it's really windy out and might rain so i'm gonna put it in the back of the car <laughs> so it should be fun but first let's clean these up that is how you turn a car into a paint booth <laughs> time to get painted Turning out pretty good. Not too shabby, eh? So I let them all dry and they turned out not bad. C Max painting booth done a pretty decent job. So now I'm just gonna bolt them up to the chairs and then they can go in the car. So they're, they're all in there, nicely bolted up. I'm not gonna do the rears up yet because I'm gonna use this point to mount the harnesses. I'm just gonna bolt them through there. So I'm gonna leave these loose for now. That one's all in. She's on the sliders. Looks banging, looking fresh. Oh yeah. Turned out not too bad, didn't they? Probably cost me about Let's say about 50 pounds, maybe a bit less, maybe about 45 because the steel was about 35 and then I bought some nuts and bolts and stuff. Did take me probably about a solid day of doing it. But, I mean, to buy them from the shop, they're about 160 to 180 pounds, so it's kind of worth it, isn't it? They're definitely solid. They ain't going nowhere. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. There's plenty more to come, as you saw earlier. There's, I've still got loads of parts. Next week's video, I'm going to be installing the short shifter and going to be doing the polyurethane pushing upgrades. So yeah, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. New videos every Thursday.